everybody. There's been some people asking about my sawmill and and uh, wanted to see some videos about my sawmill. And this is mostly on working horses, but uh, um, most of the logs that I saw for my mill, I do get out with the horses, so it is all connected. But um, I have some custom sawing stuff to do today for a customer that I did not get out. Um, this is such something that I've never sawed before, and I'm going to show you now what that is. So as we walk into the mill, we have rest, uh, uh, Western Red Cedar here. This is from a customer, um, and this is all from one pole. So that means this is all one tree. There was over a hundred feet one tree. I'm gonna go get a tape measure. And... It sure is nice on these stormy days to be able to have work to do inside when I can't be out logging with the horses or farm work. So I have a tape measure. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten logs. And there's, um, I think the shortest ones are 10 footers and the bulk of them are 12 footers. So it's, it's a bit over 100 feet. I'm not sure exactly if these are all the logs or what, but I believe this is the biggest log here. And at that end, it was 27 inches. And here we're talking a little over 25 inches still. And this one's 24. It held its size really good. That's 24. This one here is 23. So these logs are huge. This is northern New York. To saw white pine, quite often I'll get white pine this big in this area. But to saw cedar this big, absolutely not. So. What he wants is um, shiplap siding. He's got some camps that he's um, putting on, putting the shiplap siding on, on the walls. So I will saw some of this up and then I will run it through my planer and I'll show you the end product. And it's very pretty stuff, it's nice. I've sawed some up already. This is the second load that he's brought. The first load is small stuff, you know, 12 inch diameter stuff um, from regular telephone poles these must have been from your big utility poles that are out running your big lines because these are monsters. So anyways, I'm going to saw it up and we'll show you what the end product looks like. As soon as I started sawing this stuff, I realized it's not red cedar, it's white cedar. But it still must be from out west to get trees this size. When I did the video with the hunters that I took up in the Adirondacks, I did find a couple of big cedar up there, but nowhere near this big. Here's a couple cedar trees that were up in the Adirondacks. It's kind of a shame we needed six inch boards to do this job to, and it's kind of a shame to make six inch boards out of these huge logs but that's what we needed to do for the customer.
this log was so big I ended up with three six inch cans. My saw is not big enough to saw all three at the same time so I'm throwing the top one off the other two and I will saw the other two and I can make them into boards together then I'll have to go back and saw this can't hear up by itself. One log done, nine logs to go. So this is just from one one log. And then still have to edge all those on the edger. So there'll be quite a few pieces of one by sixes to go into some siding for his camps. I guess it's been two or three weeks since I started sawing that cedar and it's been on the back burner because I've been busy logging and other things. So today we're gonna to try and get it finished up. The horses get to go out for the day and take the day off though. Maybe this afternoon I might get time to spread a little manure with the pertrons though. Got the logs all sawed and now Brenda came out to help on the edger. The edger is really a two-person job. 
and so we're edging this up into 4 inch and 6 inch boards. This was a pretty old tree and so because of it a lot of the lumber had some pretty bad cracks in it but we were still able to utilize an awful lot of it.
This is going to be gorgeous wood when it's done. It's plain. Gorgeous. So light. Love it. Okay, now the sawing is all done. Now we got to take it in and run it all through the planer. So we started with the four inch boards. That's just for trim work. And it's just four sided planes. So we have those blades in there now. So we'll get these done and then we'll do the ship lap afterwards. We'll have to change blades around. I'm still a little bit confused as to what actual kind of wood this is, whether it's red or white cedar, or if there's even another kind of cedar. But I put a, a cedar board from our woods, a what northern white cedar and that's the light colored one on the one side and then the dark colored one is what I'm sawing now so maybe it is red cedar and I just don't know my woods very well. This is what I'm sawing and this is my own northern white cedar. So I changed the blades, put the shiplap blades in and here I am sawing the six inch boards for shiplap. Okay, we have the one by fours all done. I think there's 60 of them here. And then the one by sixes in the clapboards. Uh, I take that back. And then the one by sixes in the shiplap, they're done. These, just these three for samples. So they have. Uh, a groove on both sides and then these will slide together like that to make that joint a tight joint and then the last one here goes together like that so there's your finished product that's what's going to look like on the the camp for the for the walls in their camp um it's uh going to be very very nice one, I believe. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's great that these, this customer of mine was able to um, take something that's old and ready to throw away and turn it into still something that's quite usable for many years to come on their camp walls. So next time might be more about horses. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.